Welcome to Stuck Time to Improv. Love it. Hello, everyone. Today, we're live with Tracy Pullman, who is Tracy with Style. And she's going to talk about how you look is your brand and how you can present yourself better so that you get customers and potentially investors. So it's time for Stuck, time to improv. Tracy, tell us about what you do. I started my journey when I first um, actually got out of college. I worked in food manufacturing companies. So I wore a uniform, hairnet, knew nothing about my appearance. And I remember getting a promotion at work and thinking, what do I wear? I had no clue. So if you're kind of in that boat where you're like, I have no clue, I can totally relate to you. And for the past 21 years, I've been helping professional women kind of figure out what to wear using some simple uh, rules and simple steps to follow and creating looks that are unique to them. And one of the things that I always like to talk about, because we always think about business branding and you're probably like worried about like your logo. You're worried about the business cards, having great looking business cards and a website that's, you know, works. You're also looking at your uh, brand messaging of what you're saying. And many times people don't think about their image and your image is part of your brand, believe it or not. You're a walking billboard for your company. Okay. I don't know if you realize that, but you are. So your image is an important part of your branding. And there's three different things that really have an impact on your personal image. The one of the things is on the impression that you leave those you meet. Okay. Believe it or not, countless research shows that within seven seconds, people are forming an opinion of you. They're deciding if they want to do business with you. Unfortunately, in those seven seconds, they're not looking at your expertise or what's on the inside. Unfortunately, you're being judged by your image as well as your body language. Okay. And sometimes you don't get a chance to make a good second impression because they've already thought about it. So um, how does that relate to you? Like, well, that's something, you think about that. That's something how I always tell, particularly solopreneurs, if you're the only one in your business, you are your brand until your brand becomes way more recognized. So you're always going to be presenting and it doesn't matter if you're in a presentation or if you're in the grocery store, you are yeah. your brand and you need to be out there. Exactly. Yeah. And I hear so many people tell me it doesn't really matter, but it does. You have to really think about who your audience is when you get dressed each day to figure out, are you dressed appropriately for that? So especially like you may be meeting with a potential client. Well, look at what are your clients wearing just because they're wearing like t-shirts and a pair of jeans or shorts you might want to dress up just a little bit better. You want to look like the professional, okay? Whether if they're it real casual, then maybe you just wear like jeans and a polo shirt or something nicer or pants, slacks, and a shirt. Um, you could wear s- stuff like that. But then if you're going to be going to the bank and asking for a loan or you're going to the SBA or anything like that, I would always recommend dressing well, dressing professional, because it really shows that you take your business seriously, okay? And they're going to take your business seriously. I work with women mostly, okay? So we're looking at your body shape and doing different things like that. Now, I always say if you can add any type of a jacket, it could be even a cardigan that looks like a jacket, that always ups your game when you're talking about professionalism. But also I always recommend dressing conservatively, right? Because especially like for women, you don't want to wear low cut shirts or anything like that. That could be a turnoff for people. And so I would really shy away from that. Okay. Yeah. I keep it handy. (laughs) 
She, oh, she got her jacket on. Look at her. Now doesn't she look good? And I love the scarf too. It okay. adds a lot to your outfit, by the way. Yeah. Um, another thing is your personal image has an impact on your self-confidence. Okay. A lot of times we don't realize that we're like, Hey, I'm just working from home. Like, why do I need to get like dressed up or anything? Because think about the times when you do get dressed up, it makes you feel good. And it doesn't matter what your size is, what your shape is, what your age is. It does not matter. You can look fantastic. And I always love to look at Oprah. Okay. Oprah over the years, she's gone up, she's gone down in size, right? But she always looks fabulous because she knows exactly how to dress for her. You are going to see your reflection in the mirror 55 times a day like in the mirror, in a window, anything. And every time you see yourself, you're either saying, oh, wow, or oh, no. (laughs) Well, it could be a confidence builder or a confidence destroyer, depending on what you're actually saying. So you always have to keep that in mind. So I always ask or mention for people to kind of think about how do I look in the clothes that I'm wearing? Okay. Do you know what to do to look slimmer? If you'd like to appear 10 to 20 pounds thinner without losing weight, I have a special video for you. So I think you guys are all going to love that. And you probably have the clothes at your home right now that you could actually wear. And so it's really going to give you that slimming look because let's face it, that's probably one of the biggest areas that most women face is they wish they were a little bit slimmer than what they currently are. Also, your personal image has an impact on your competitive edge over your competition. We all know that likes attracts like. So people are attracted to people that they can relate to. So you always have to look at who is your ideal customer. You need to make sure that you're dressing for that ideal customer. If you're dealing with high-end customers, and I had a particular um, client that I worked with, and she was looking at high-end customers. But she was also building outdoor spaces for people. So she was in a very messy environment. So she was really struggling, like, how do I look as professional as I possibly can, but also look appropriate for what I'm doing? Like, I'm out in the backyard, you know, slipping around uh, the mess that's in the backyard. So um, she and I were able to work together to create a look that she could look professional and look appropriate for her high-end customers, but also she, you know, felt, she felt good about it and she could go out in the yards and work as well. You are going to get noticed more based on how you look. So when you're wearing the right colors, when you're wearing the right clothes, especially so many of us are on zoom nowadays and you got the little bitty squares, like how do you stand out from everybody else to where people say, who is that? I want to know her. Okay. That's important when you get that. Cause then people are looking at you. Oh, what does she do? Boy, she looks so put together. She looks so professional. She looks radiant. You know, it, the colors are really complementing her skin tone. So it's so important for you to have a good understanding of that because it is going to make you stand out. And especially as a new, um, entrepreneur, you want to stand out. And you want to seem professional and successful at what you do, right? Because people like to do business with people that are successful, not like the person who's just starting out and you're like, I'm brand new. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. They're like, get away, right? I'll give you comfort, but I won't give you money. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Exactly. So sometimes the way you look can up your game and make it look like you've been in business for the last 20 years and you're successful. One of the things that I always like to do is if you're a professional woman and you would like to get some more tips on how to create a style that's going to be appropriate for you, that's going to give a great impression, that's going to boost your confidence and get you more business opportunities, I would love to work with you on that. I have a complimentary simple style session that I would love to have with any of you females, but I know all of you men too. If you need some help, I can connect you with other people that can help you as well. Well, thank you so much, Tracy Pullman, Tracy with style. This has been really interesting. And 
please check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel for Stuck Time to Improv.